Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart at Kelly Vegas on Twitter. And today's Michigan versus Alabama bowl game is brought to you by Touchdown Alabama Magazine. That is the Citrus Bowl. And as Teddy so politely pointed out before this video, you can't spell citrus without UT. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, Teddy. It was an insult about the Citrus Bowl in Tennessee back in the day from Steve Spurrier. Ah. Which was saying that the Citrus Bowl ain't the bowl you want to be playing in, even on New Year's Day. Fair enough. Teddy covers to the right of me. Mr. Drew Martin to the right of him. How motivated is Alabama going to be for this game? Bottom line, do they actually care? And then here's Michigan and Harbaugh, which... Ah, <sighs> is, is rather frustrating. The line, current line's seven across the board. The seven and a halves are gone, and we kind of knew that people were going to probably take that key number there. Your thoughts, Teddy? I see you have uh, very minimal notes in front of you. I have zero notes in front of me on it, even though I have the pad over here and I got the phone over here. You know, this is, this is one you can do up here. Okay, perfect. Uh, by the end of the season, there's not one that you need a whole lot of notes for. Michigan needs this win so bad. All right, Harbaugh needs to beat a top team. The Wolverines, who've come up short in all of these games, they got Alabama. They can be expected to play. All right. With the Crimson Tide, and you asked the most important question of all is, do they care? I think they do. Okay. And based on – you have a head coach who is historically not a guy who you want to be betting against in these type of spots – who has found methods to get his team ready. And the fact that you're playing Michigan on New Year's Day is a reasonable motivator. And what happens in these games? You know, Even though Michigan isn't that great, it's because they're still called Michigan. Is sure, it's still Michigan. Right? It's still Harbaugh. It's still okay. a, a team you want to beat. They're not playing Central Florida. You know what I mean? They're playing. And so the assumption. I don't think Drew liked that comment very much. Well, I was just thinking, <laughs> if there's any UC, UCF fans are pretty prideful. You know, you might. There's a different level of – and I'm not trying to diss the UCF fans at all. I'm saying for Alabama's standpoint, if I'm trying to gauge whether this team's going to be motivated or not – They're not I playing K-State. There we go. Does that make you feel better, Drew? That playing Michigan is, brings a different level to the table. Whether that's enough – and, again, a touchdown's a lot. But the reason Michigan hasn't been beating any of these teams is Michigan's not good enough to beat these teams. Michigan is a legit top-20 squad. The teams that are the top five squads are a class difference better than the Wolverines. And we've seen that more than once in recent seasons. And we might well see it on New Year's Day. Uh, I don't want Michigan here. I know how bad they need it. I don't want them. Drew has a lot more notes than you on this game. I'm curious to see what he has to say. Yeah, Ke Kelly, a couple things here. I mean, one, I, you know, two big programs going at it in, a, in, in the Citrus Bowl. And not, not, I know it's not the, the biggest bowl, but in Orlando, Florida, kind of a destination It's still a here. New Year's Day bowl, and I think that that says something. Yeah. Sure, sure. And, and talking about the Alabama side, you know, defensively let up, what, 48 and 46 points in their two losses can be, you know, taken advantage of, so to speak, defensively. Um, Mac Jones on the offensive side, you know, a quarterback, um, not necessarily a freshman, but, you know, a, a younger quarterback, not a lot of experience getting getting the game time in big situations, now getting the extra preparation time in bowl practices with a good coordinator, good coach. I would look for him to be very improved. Not that he played bad against Auburn, but his mistakes really hurt them. I would look for him to have a actual better game in the bowl. Um, I think motivation is an issue for Alabama just because it is the first time in the playoff era that Saban's going to have to deal with motivation. You know, this is the first time Alabama's not in a playoff and in a regular bowl since this, it's come to this point. It's just Michigan, sidewise, they've won five of six against the spread to end the season. I think the Wolverines have been a bet on towards the end here. And I think that motivation questions come in more on the defensive side than the offensive. I think that it helps um, the offense here in bowl games like this. So I think that there might be uh, more points than the experts are projecting here. I would go with the over. All right. Awesome stuff from both guys. Don't forget to check out our new show, Bet on It, the NFL edition, exclusively on Wager Talk TV. Whew, it's been a rough one today, guys. <laughs>